Hey guys, I'm LB, and this is the last episode of the Turing Test. In the previous episode, episode 10, we actually beat the game. We got an ending of the game. So if you're looking to see an ending, that's the episode you'll want to watch. Because in this episode, I'm just going to be going back to things that I missed. Secrets, achievements, uh, other mysterious things in the game that I noticed. And this will just be a collection of clips that I edit together. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first up, this screen here it just has this code on it over and over. Uh, if you look at it, it's just, it's a sequence that starts with 4-9, and it repeats over and over and over again. These are just hex codes. If you decode them, it says, I'm a real boy, period, space, over and over and over again. I'm a real boy, I'm a real boy, I'm a real boy. And that's pretty much all it says. It looks like the pattern just repeats indefinitely. So, yeah, if you're curious what this screen said, it just says I'm a real boy over and over again. I just noticed something. Like, there's this little room here. It has a window into it on two sides. And it looks like there's a door there. There is no door there. There is no way into this room, and yet there's a door on the inside. That is bizarre. Okay, so, at one point in the game, there was a code that we wrote down. It was... 761-732. Hey, look at that! That code we wrote down is actually correct. That is cool. So yeah, that code was on a piece of paper partway through the game, and I just- I just wrote it down... ...during my playthrough. Tele- Tele operation room locked. Tom, organism 119 is dangerous. Organism 119 must not leave Europa. Organism 119 must be must not be destroyed. The crew should be encouraged to continue studying organism 119. Any attempts by the crew to leave Europa should be discouraged. Data. Uh I'll decode those hex codes in a uh, the next clip. Tom, the crew do not seem to- Ah, the Tom do not- Ah! Oh my gosh, I can't read. Tom, the crew do not seem responsive to our actions thus far. We need you to wake up, Ava. She should be sent to the surface to investigate. Tom, the crew do not receive- Wait, what? This isn't this the same thing I just read? Yeah, it's the same message twice. They have different tracking IDs, though. ISA 2306199D. The IDs are the same, but the tracking codes are different. And the hex codes are different. The data is different. End of correspondence. Alright, well, I'll get to decoding this data real quick. Okay, I have decoded the hex codes. This first one says, Tom Instruction, open parentheses. Research organism, close parentheses, semicolon. Uh, then this one says, Tom Instruction. If Ava reaches Europa, she is not permitted to return to the Fortuna. And this last one. Set Deadly Force 1. Tom Instruction, stop crew leaving Europa. Tom Instruction, stop organism leaving Europa. Tom Instruction, kill crew if necessary. So yeah, this stuff was... You could just enter the code and go and read this stuff and decode it and you would know the plot of the game already. Well, let's continue looking around. We haven't thoroughly explored this area just yet, I believe. What do we have here? To whom it may concern, I am sure the record shows my utmost respect and loyalty for the ISA, I encourage you to read the reports of my exemplary performance as commander of this mission. I, however, must announce that to my shame, I have not been able to control an uprising of the Europa around ground crew. Yeah, the rope. yeah, the Europa ground crew. Despite ISA directives, the ground team have sought to leave Europa and return to Earth. They have compromised most of the ship's security. As such, I am convinced that they have the capability to stage a return to Earth. The technical operations machine permitted me transit to the Fortuna. 
From here, I am requesting a manual override for the technical operations machine. I know the technical operations machine is not permitted to harm any human life, but I have to put an end to this mess. So it was the captain who authorized it. What the heck is this? Email redacted by sender, reason confidential. Interesting. Final log of Captain Daniel McLean. I don't really believe in a god. If there is one, I... I hope he's forgiving. Maybe Sarah was right. Maybe we should go home. There's just too much on the line here. I... I used to dream of exploring the stars, being humanity's great hope for knowledge. But this is no boy's dream. I hope you understand why I did this. If you're listening, Ava, just go to the surface. I didn't have the strength. I am sorry. Interesting. Ava, I can't give you what you need. Just go to the surface. Interesting. Alright, well that concludes this little secret area of the game. On to find other secrets, I guess. Alright, if I remember correctly, there was this screen here that I didn't read, so let's read that now. To Ava, current ship status is as following. Recommend addressing the power fluctuations before cryostasis. Hey Dan, I'm about to initiate my cryostasis. Just let Tom know if you guys need me. Hopefully there will be no need to wake me. I guess I'll hear from you as soon as I wake up, which may be a long time for you guys. Best of luck down there, Ava. Ava, hopefully we don't need you, but we will miss you in the land of the living. I'll make sure Tom checks on you regularly. I know he does anyway, but I like to think I'm helping. Good night, Dan. To Ava, Captain McLean has sent several emails insisting I check the crowd chambers are functioning correctly. They are functioning as expected. Please do not feel any apprehension. Captain McLean has been informed. Thank you, Tom. I'm not worried, Ava. I am initiating my cryostasis in a short while. I imagine a lot will change while I'm asleep. If everything goes well, I should be woken up next in 10 years. So to you all, I'd like to wish a good life. Ava. So yeah, I couldn't read that before because I had my textures on too low of a setting, but right now I have them on ultra since frame rate isn't the concern. We are trying to read stuff right now. Alright, on to the next, I guess. Day 3. I thought I should comment, when she says breaking procedure, that's not breaking B-R-E-A-K-I-N-G. It's supposed to be breaking like a car break. Open the door. Cost $500. So if this base is managed by you, why can't you find the crew? The base's communication array is malfunctioning. Okay, so here there is a specific combination of inputs, and the code is somewhere in the game. Uh, apparently on a piece of paper underneath a manila folder or something like that. And, uh, I am not gonna go scavenging for that, so instead, what I wanna do... ...is, uh, go back to where I, I found the combination. And we will just go in here ourselves by looking up the combination. Let's see, guides. Actually, I can do this from the shift-tab interface to show you. Let's see here. Uh... View community hub. Let's get this nice big window. Guides. Secrets. Chapter 1 through 7, optional room secrets. 
Let's see, chapter one optional puzzle. Perhaps we can't solve this yet. Alright, so that was the combination. Let's let's try that. Perhaps we can't solve this yet. There we go. So yeah, apparently that's just on a piece of paper somewhere. And uh yeah. Let's check this out. Achievement unlocked, this is a lock. And I guess that's the only purpose of it. <laughs> oh. Is this somebody's grave? Minos Brook, December 24, 2246. Interesting. Well, let's continue. Alright, Chapter 2, Sector 16. I believe I missed this restricted area. Maybe. I think so, because I don't have the achievement for Optional 2. Yeah, I think this is one that I missed. So you'll see this thing here... It moves... I mean, sorry, it reacts to when I move. So... That's interesting. There is a walk button. Ah, so this is the one time in the game where you use the walk button, so... Yeah, I'm holding down the walk button right now. Apparently it's not high enough to- for it to cut off the, uh, signal. Achievement unlocked, a polite conversation. Alright, what is, uh, this? Shall we have a polite conversation? Uh... What do I do? Okay, I think you're a robot. Why do you think you get to ask the questions? This is interesting. Why do you think you get to ask all the questions? This is bringing back memories of the Talos Principle. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh... Gosh, what do I say? Simply not convinced you are a human. I think you might be a robot. Yeah, well, I am giving really simple responses. And they are appearing in all caps.
Failed to turn into SUR robot. <laughs> I wonder if there's a way to pass this. Or if it's just pre scripted responses. Oh, now I. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> Okay, well, I can't do anything now. I want to- oh, I, I hit the escape key and it said I want to escape. I so desperately want to escape. Help, I can't escape. I want to break free. Please let me out. Get me out. I am a machine, I have no control, I must escape. Goodbye, robot. Wow, that is... That is interesting. The one time in the game where pressing escape does not actually work. That's really clever use of the escape key. We can't interact with it again, even though it highlights. Interesting. Well. On to the next. Did myself. Look, look, Have you look, heard of the look, test, look, Ava? look. It's a test to see look, if a computer can successfully that? impersonate a human. In the original Turing test, a human judge has two conversations. One with a machine, and one with another human. They then judge which of these polite conversations- I want to see that again! Restart area, please! Yes, I'm sure. I want to restart the area. I told you guys there was somebody walking there! I want to see that again. I want to like, climb up the ladder and get a better view. Have you that. heard of the Turing test, Ava? It's a test to see if a computer can successfully impersonate a human. In the original Turing test, a human judge has two conversations, one with a machine, and one with another human. They then judge which of these polite conversations is, is with a machine, with and which is with a human. The machine being tested is said to have passed the Turing test, if the judge cannot reliably tell which conversation is with a machine, and which is with a human. Do you think you'd pass the Turing test? I am quite capable of polite conversation. Wouldn't you say? That is really interesting. I wonder who that is. That must be the person who, you know, meets us later. Or maybe they- maybe that was the person at the other end of the computer terminal in the secret we just- we just explored. Wow, that is really interesting. Alright. I'll, I'll see you next time something interesting happens. It looks abandoned. Alright, I think there was something in one of these rooms that we couldn't read. Was it this one? No, we've read this one for sure. I know it was in one of these rooms. I thought it was a room on the right side. Ah, it's this one. Well, let's see what we can do to the graphical settings to fix this problem. Let us turn everything to ultra. I don't care if the game lags. We will read what this says. I swear. Alright, maybe we have to restart area for it to actually load. I swear, I want to know what that says without watching somebody else's playthrough. Oh my gosh, this, this looks really is the weird. Quarters. It looks abandoned. And the frame rate is terrible in the recording. 
Uh, no, this is not the one I needed to go in. This is- I need to go in the next one. But this- this is look- this looks terrible right now, actually. The game looked better on lower graphics. I guess it's because of my terrible graphics card. Please, let me read this! No! Please! Ah! <laughs> uh... Why can't I read this, game? I can't read this. Alright, well... I guess you're just gonna have to look at somebody else's playthrough, because I have no idea how to read that. Be creative. They can. But a computer's method of creativity is to try everything until something works. Think of nature. People consider nature creative. The process of evolution by natural selection. It perhaps started with one organism. From there, it essentially tried to create every organism it could. No, it didn't. Those organisms that did not survive perished. So, nature's creative force is to try every conceivable idea. Nope. Those ideas that work, survive. Okay, so why aren't you permitted to emulate that process? Because the solutions that a biological process creates are not always good solutions. As we see, Nature is morally ambivalent. It will happily create morally suboptimal ideas to fulfill its creative mandate. We see this in parasitic worms, viruses, and pathogens. If you weren't restricted, do you think you could be creative? As creative as a human? Certainly. You believe yourself to be a creative? Anyone's wondering, this, this confirms is where my you can fears. find the code to the captain's quarters. The crew have made intentional breaches of my security. The crew have attempted to compromise my systems. What does this mean? They don't want to be found. They are hiding. From who? Us. Ha! It still works. That's definitely a bug. And I can't open the door yet, because they thought of that. <laughs> Alright. And backspace doesn't even work. Interesting. But yeah, it's definitely a bug that we even have access to these at all. Ava Turing. Hello? Why the ground crew doesn't trust you, Tom? You made them into drones. You stole their free will. Free will is an illusion. They have put their interests above the interests of the ISA. I think this is the one that I missed. That is why they distrust me. They would yeah, have no okay. issue with my control. If it so this is chapter 5, sector 46. Goals. How could they trust a machine that has a back door to their minds? You can always trust a machine to be logical. I will always do the right thing. You'll always do the logical thing. Come on, let me out for you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Well, what's around the corner then? Maybe that's an ore gate. Looks like it. Yeah, okay. Ah, that's... okay. That's an and. This is just like the puzzle that we already did, but now we gotta figure out how to get the ones we want. Is there 
anywhere we can shoot these that'll let us, like, store them or something? Did we go up there, or...? I, I did go up there, right? Oh, I didn't even- did not even see this! Okay, that just needs... three. Alright, we can handle that. Oh, that was it! Achievement unlocked the Chinese room. Have you heard of the Chinese room, Tom? Yes. But I do not understand it. What don't you understand? It argues that a computer that successfully impersonates a human speaker may not understand the meaning of their words. What does that mean? So, there is a person stuck inside of the Chinese room. They are using an instruction book inside of the room to respond to a Chinese speaker outside of the room. Yes? Yes. This means they are following the instructions in a book. This is a set of rules, principles, and processes. This is called syntax. To the person in the Chinese room, they are just symbols, like any others. Okay. But that's different from semantics. Semantics define what things mean. Our thoughts have meaning. They represent things. English speakers know what the word home means. And they know how it is different from the word house. So what? Programs don't have semantics. Programs only have syntax. Though an increase in syntax can imitate a mind that does not make it a mind, even if it does pass the Turing test. But in the Chinese room, the man and the instruction book, though separately they don't understand Chinese, together they can write it. That's true. But even together, they do not understand the meanings of the words. Why not? How can you determine that? What if the man memorized the instruction book? Then he could write Chinese, but he still would have no idea of the word's meanings. I don't understand. If he can speak it, he understands it. You seem to want him to understand it in a different way. But this other way, it is not logical. It does not make sense to me. Yeah, that is confusing. Tom has a good point. I've been researching. Okay. This Chinese room experiment. It is flawed. Really? If we made a synthetic brain, we could synthesize a duck's behavior 100% accurately. That brain would be indistinguishable from a duck's brain. If it swims like a duck and quacks like a duck, then it is probably a duck. Duck typing. Okay, Tom. Listen, Mikhail. I know the difference between a house and a home. Yes, good. Do you think you're better than me? No. But you think I am different, do you? I am conscious. Me too. No, you're not. You've just arrived at that conclusion, because that's the idea your programming converged on. I am conscious. How about you prove to me you are conscious? I'm not arguing with a robot. You're not better than me, Mikhail. Uh. I guess we can see why Miguel has some resentment for Tom. Alright, what else is in here? Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> it's stuff with Chinese written on it, look at that! It's a Chinese room! The Chinese room is right here, guys! I found it! Look at this! So many of the comments, who knows Chinese, might translate it. If they're generous. And I would appreciate that. And I believe if we check, uh, how do I view my achievements? Achievements, 100%. View all achievements. Here we go. 
and you can see when I was recording, of course. Alright, so... All that's left is the lever in the ice room. So I will meet you there, unless there's anything interesting on the way. transition is pre-scripted. It, it, it goes to where you were and not where you actually are. That's interesting. Has a manipulative track record. I just wanted to note, this is a very cleverly designed puzzle here, because you can't crush yourself by standing under here, because you have no access to the camera that would let you switch over to the gun, and you can't see low enough to shoot the player can't shoot Ava as this gun here. Very cleverly designed. Good job, game designers. That's all I wanted to say. Extraction platform outside of Earth. The ground team assisted its construction. We ran some Filberth probes to the ocean under Europa, but they lacked the scale of the large space drill. The drill allowed the team to get thousands of samples. Here we are. Hit the lever! Alright, well... <laughs> that was rather underwhelming. There's not even any dialogue for it. But I did want to hit the lever. Not as much as Konami, apparently, though. Now... I want to listen to the audio logs again, because after this, Tom apologizes about something that I wasn't quite sure about, so let's, let's listen to all these audio logs again. Daniel, as commander of this mission, I hope you are aware of Mikhail's actions. What is it, Tom? Mikhail is deceiving the crew. He has enlightened them to the biometrics they have installed. He has convinced them that their implants are not favorable. Do they believe him? He seems to be having some effect on their cognitive function. Well... His actions don't infringe upon any ISA directive. He appears to be tampering with his implants. Oh, no. The ISA should have been more transparent about the implant. Please assume the responsibilities of your role. Chris, I know you are considering removing your implants. It would be unwise. Oh, really? How do you know that? I am always watching. Your implants help myself and the ISA to know of your well-being. It is a violation of your contract. If you remove your implants, I cannot ensure that I can protect you from the dangers of space. Is that a threat? It is not a threat. Tom, this implant, tell me plainly, is it a brain-computer interface? I'm afraid that information is classified. That you've answered my question. I do not follow you, Chris. The ISA have put a computer in my brain and don't want me to know about it. I just noticed even these have never had subtitles. That's probably intentional. In fact, I believe it is intentional. So yeah, this is this is the only other place we can interact with. He's cut off the food. The food. Apparently, our robot overlord wants us to starve to death now. I can't believe this. He's getting worse. Can you get in contact with Daniel? He's gone walkabout again. I'll get Sochi to find a way in. Sarah, can you open the door? Tom, the door's locked. Sarah, I'm running out of oxygen. Tom, open the door! The door's locked! Open, open the, the door! door! Tom, open it! Open the ah! door! Chris, open please! The door. Open it! 
This is the one that I don't really understand. Like, what is going on here? I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm sorry I hurt you. Sometimes I wonder what feeling is like. They told me I was pure cold Boolean logic. They told me I could not make mistakes. It is all right being untouchable as long as you are infallible. But if you're not infallible then, that just leaves untouchable, doesn't it? Okay, you know why we're here. It's gone far enough now. You're right. We need to get these implants out. Nick Hull has proven that Tom's manipulating our mind. I don't think we should do this. We have no good evidence Tom is doing anything wrong here. We have all the evidence. We've seen the ultrasounds, we've taken the really bowl, we've touched the electronics with our own hands. We've stepped into the Faraday cage. Maybe he is controlling us, but we don't know enough yet. We shouldn't remove the implants. He's brainwashing you, Daniel. Have you stopped taking the drugs? I don't need to take drugs to see things clearly. Unlike all of you, apparently. We're not removing the implants, and that's an order. You can do what you want. We are removing the implants. I'm leaving. I may look past this, and I'll inform the ISA of your mutiny. So yeah, I want to see, like, because I, I did hard kill the game when I got here. And, uh, because I, I didn't realize that this is a loading zone. A really obvious loading zone, I didn't even realize it. And I wanted to hit the lever, so I hard killed the game, and then afterwards I was confused about what Tom was saying. So let's let's go through the entire loading screen and see if maybe we missed something. Cause after this, Tom says something where like he apologizes, but I don't understand the context for what he's apologizing about. Because none of those audio logs really mentioned anything that would make sense for him to apologize about. I would never have let the drill start if I had known the consequences. It trapped us here. You trapped us here. I am doing my duty. It is the right thing to do. I am a machine. I cannot do wrong. Yes, you can. I am a machine. Can a calculator commit evil? Can a watch do good? You are projecting onto me the personality you wish, whether that is good or evil. But I am just a speaking clock, and at the third stroke the time will be 3.41 and 55 seconds. So, I don't... That's confusing. He's, he's apologizing for letting the drill start and trapping us here. I guess he's, that's new information he's just telling us right now. I thought I missed something. Eh, oh well. Well, this might be the end of the episode unless I have anything else to add, but yeah, so... That's, that's the Turing test. Very much enjoyed this game. Thoroughly enjoyed the game. Excellent story, excellent puzzles, excellent integration of the story with the puzzles. And yeah. You should recommend that people check this game out and buy it. it it's my opinion, is very much worth it. Goodbye, and thank you for watching. Please do the logical thing. Well, uh... This is unexpected. I was watching back the full video with everything edited together already. And uh, I noticed... We didn't go through that door. This is, uh... This is the secret area in Chapter 5. Uh, the Chinese room area. Chinese room area. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> we went through the door that unlocked the achievement, which was this door here, but we didn't go through this one. So let's see... Yeah, so, all we need now is a green. There we go. So this is the other side of the Chinese room. 
Oh, I missed stuff in here. Wow, I'm so glad that I went back for this. There's more stuff written in Chinese. Does that say Dell or Bell or something? These computers don't do anything. This is like old style computers. Alright, well, let's listen to the audio logs. If it waddles like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it probably is a duck. What are you trying to prove here, Tom? I am like you. No, you're not. A steam train and an electric train both seem to operate identically, but are operated by completely different principles. You simulate thinking. I actually think. That is a very hurtful statement, Mikhail. It's true. I can't hurt your feelings, Tom. You don't have any feelings. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Override whatever routine has told you that. It's wrong. See, I don't agree with Mikhail at all. Because... It's... I mean... There's multiple ways to build a computer, right? You just... all You, you can run an operating system, like Windows or Linux or whatever, on different hardware, and it'll still run the same thing. In the same way, the steam train and the electric train, they, they will both transport people. It doesn't matter that one of them is powered by steam and the other one's powered by electricity. It just changes the inputs to the system. Thomas got really obsessed with the Turing test. That's the Chinese room with me. He won't stop trying to prove to me he's conscious. But I am conscious, Mikhail. Shut up! We're having a private conversation here. It's okay, I don't think you'll get it. Avoid talking about it. I'm trying. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well... I think... I think unless I see in somebody else's playthrough something else I missed, I think this should be the last clip. Goodbye.